In this video I will be covering some new insane features and improvements that have been made in Premiere Pro version 23.4. This includes a new way of recovering a lost project in a recovery mode and so much more. The 23.4 update of Premiere Pro introduces text-based editing and includes important fixes and user request improvements like background autosave. Text-based editing. This is an insane new feature that allows you to edit your footage using the transcript tab. Quote, text-based editing in Premiere Pro is an entirely new way of creating rough cuts that are as simple as copy and pasting text. This is an absolute game changer for those who are editing podcasts or similar content. This will save you a ton of time compared to the regular way of editing. They have also updated the text tab in effects and drawers. And as you can see on the screen now, here's the before and here's the after. Simply a lot more of customization and features. So this is how it works. You go to the text tab and then to transcript. Now select the audio you want to transcribe and then click transcribe. This will now analyze your audio and the speed depends of the length of the audio clip. If you now hover over the words with your mouse, you can see that it sort of selects it. Now to remove dialogue from the speech, simply highlight the words you want to remove and it will automatically set the in and out point in the timeline. Then simply press delete on your keyboard to remove it. And as you can see, you made a cut in the timeline. Another cool feature is the background autosave. Quote, the new improved autosave runs in the background without interrupting your work. Backups can be saved in increments as short as one minute. So what autosave basically does, it creates a backup file of your project in a folder that you can find if you go to the file, project settings and scratch disk. So if you've been using Premiere for a while, then you probably encountered the save pop-up many times before, which can be quite annoying when you're working on your project. So what they did with this change is that they finally removed the annoying pop-up and make it save in the background instead. Now if you're transcribing or editing dialogue in Danish, then this new change got you covered. Because Adobe has added transcription support for the Danish language. So you can now easily create captions and use the new text-to-speech tool. If you have been wondering why Premiere is always crashing and what is working on in the background, then this new feature is for you. Dashboard for background processes. Quote, want to see what Premiere Pro is working on? You can now access, track and observe all background processes in one place. So before updating to the version 23.4, there was nothing up there but on the newest version you can find this new tool and you can access this feature by going to the top left and clicking on the three little bars they have also added smoother mouse scrolling and movement for apple products and they also added support for footage shot on a sony venice 2 and iphone cinematic clips this can be a huge change for those who are editing iphone footage which i know are quite a lot of people so currently beta is that they are working on support for srt files a new and improved color manager that combines all color settings in one tab instead of having multiple ones which is a great change as you no longer have to go through different tabs for color grading and other color related stuff. You will also be able to collaborate with others using the new share button and last but not least a new insane change that will help you restore your project more easily using recovery mode. If you like this sort of format where I cover new updates and changes then please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.